Hi, welcome to Prophecy's Fabric Workload Trial. We're excited you're here. We'd like to take a moment to show you around to help you get started. The first step in working with Prophecy's workload and a trial experience is to navigate to a workspace that has Fabric Premium Capacity enabled. Once here, you can create a new Prophecy data product item to get started. To create a new data product, go to the new menu, and there you'll find the Prophecy data product item within the list of other Fabric items. Give the item a name, and click Create. And once we're authenticated, we can go ahead and select the free trial experience. To select the true free trial experience, click the Connect button and select the free trial option from the dropdown and click Connect. The free trial for Prophecy inside of Microsoft Fabric allows you to get a feeling and understanding of how the Prophecy workload inside of Microsoft Fabric can help you manage master data and improve the data for analytics. The free trial experience connects you to a read-only Prophecy environment. To get started, we can expand the Entities folder, and underneath here we can see a number of data sets that are under management in Prophecy. In this case, we have some customer data that we have that includes some data quality issues, as well as a number of different reference data sets that we can use in support of our core customer domain. When looking at the data in the customer entity, we can notice a couple things. First, we can see the data that's under management and prophecy, and we can filter and sort the data to find the information we're after. If we're looking for a specific record, we can use the quick filter up top to find specific records that we're interested in. We can also see records that are flagged with the data quality issue highlighted by this red icon. If we open up those records, you'll see highlighted on the form the values on that record that are causing the data quality issue. If there's more than one issue, we can also see that highlighted here on the Issues tab. And then lastly, we can also see a history of any changes that have been made against this record over time. With this being a trial, you don't have the ability to edit these records and save changes and correct the data quality issues, but obviously, Prophecy customers would use those exact capabilities to improve the data they have for analytics. The focus for Prophecy's Fabric workload initially has been on the, bringing the data stewardship capabilities of Prophecy into Microsoft Fabric. This allows Prophecy and Fabric customers who are using Prophecy to manage the master data that they're consuming within Fabric to have their data stewards operating within Fabric to actually find and correct data quality issues without having to leave the Fabric UI. Prophecy has a robust roadmap of enhancements planned for our Fabric workload, and coming soon will be the ability to interact with matching results inside of Microsoft Fabric, allowing you to not only correct data quality issues, but also manage groups of like records and create the best possible representation of something within the golden record. A data product represents a collection of like data sets that provide some consumable data back to the business. They essentially provide a logical way of grouping together like things. The Prophecy data product item is saved back into your workspace as a regular fabric item alongside all of your other first party fabric items. This allows us them to be used alongside all the other items as a part of your broader workspace and allows your end users or your data engineers, your data stewards to all use this Prophecy data product item to open up and directly work with Prophecy inside of Microsoft Fabric. With that background, I'd like to walk you through the process for building a new Prophecy data product against a production Prophecy environment. We start the same way by creating a new Prophecy data product item. We give it a name. And in this case, instead of connecting using the trial experience, we'll actually connect to a real production Prophecy environment. Now that we've connected, we've actually created this data product item, both inside of Fabric and inside of Prophecy. Now we're ready to start either bringing in some existing data under management or creating some new entities to manage inside of Microsoft Fabric. To show that, we'll start off by connecting to an existing entity. In this case, we'll connect to a similar data set that we saw in the trial, some customer data. And now that we've connected, we can see in here that we have a lot of the same data, but now we have some new options. First off, if we open up one of the records with data quality issues, we can actually correct the data quality issue in this, in this scenario by specifying the email address, saving that value, we see that our data quality issue has been corrected. Now that change can then be streamed back out to one lake and ultimately be reflected back inside of analytics or other fabric workloads. We also have the option to author new records. So in this case, I could create a brand new customer record 
fill out all the details and save that information back inside of Prophecy. In addition to creating or updating existing records, we also have the ability to model and put new data under management. In this case, I could create a new entity. So now I've created a new data set, a new entity of data that we can manage with Prophecy. And maybe I also want to start creating some new attributes, columns. And so now I can start to model out new data sets inside of Prophecy, new entities, and ultimately bring some data into these entities, begin managing that data, and then publish that improved data back out to one lake as well. Hopefully this starts to give you an idea of the art of the possible using Prophecy's workload inside of Microsoft Fabric. We're very excited about the partnership with the Fabric team and what we've been able to accomplish thus far. We look forward to the feedback from our joint customers as we continue to invest in our Fabric workload and for the exciting capabilities we'll be delivering as we bring our market-leading MDM capabilities into Microsoft Fabric.